Hi there everyone, I'm Mary and today I'm going to talk to you about our short film Let It Happen for which I was a cinematographer. So without further ado, let's go straight into day one of filming. So on day one, everything was shot in Derry's bedroom. Um, Derry himself was our main character, Patrick, and as Derry was also the director, it was really helpful um, to start off working with him because we had a very similar vision for a lot of the scenes. When I initially gave him the shot list, he was really happy with it because it seemed like we were on exactly the same wavelength about how this should be visualized and portrayed. Um, for example, with the character of Patrick, we decided to do a lot more handheld, shaky shots uh, with a lot of moody, dark lighting. Power's gone out right as we were filming. Hello. Hey! <laughs> we also did a lot of over the shoulder um, shots into the mirror where we see his reflection and, and this created a bit of distance between us and the, and the character of Patrick. Um, as well as that, we always have him kind of off center, never quite in the middle of um, the lens. One of the downsides of having Derry in front of the camera was that he wasn't behind the camera directing. However, that meant that everyone could have a, a shot at directing, but sometimes this was difficult and a bit complex. One of the best things about my group was how collaborative we were. I was given a lot of creative freedom being the cinematographer as I had experience with a camera bef before. However, we got along so well that we were able to bounce ideas off of each other to see what worked perfectly. A lot of the time I was asking Derry for feedback. How does this shot look? Are you happy with it? Um, and maybe somebody else would make a great suggestion. Hattie and Abby were fantastic. And Kelly kept track of, track of everything with a shot list um, that I wrote. Often how me and Derry both envisioned things didn't work out and we had to um, improvise and find a new way to communicate the same story. Have fun guys! Woo! So we've been kicked out so they can do um, what type of shot are they doing? A tracking shot. This is one of my favourite things to film and it actually only took two takes. Again we wanted to communicate this idea of instability and we really wanted to incorporate more things with movement and not just have static shots. Sure. Oh. <laughs> 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 On day two, we filmed all of Jane's scene. There's an immediate difference with the lighting. It's much warmer. I have a ladder, so the shots are a lot more stable. Stability with Jane and instability with Patrick. We also have an extreme close-up where Jane is looking directly into the camera and she fills the frame and this brings a sense of closeness and warmth that we simply don't get with Patrick throughout the entire film. Let everyone know that it is not real drugs that we are using, it is just so much, I promise. <laughs> On day three we did mostly outdoor shots. This was more challenging than day one and two. And if I did this again, I'd probably get used to filming outside before. Uh, and do more research on how to balance the exposure very well because some of the shots ended up a bit overexposed, which I wasn't happy with. And if you listen really closely, you can hear Kelly step on a snail. We don't have our normal location. We'll have to shoot everything here in my house just with the extras to make it look like a party scene, kind of nightclub scene. It's gonna be highly improvised. One of my favourite scenes where we follow Patrick outside, we turn around and we see the glow of his face as he lights a cigarette and we see our other two characters disappear in the background. I really enjoyed shooting this because it was an ambitious shot that we weren't sure if it would work and then it did work. Everything came together extremely well and I think this was down to a great team effort from everybody. Here I am waiting in Hattie's room. It's the last night of filming. We have, I think, three scenes left to do. So tired, it's almost half 11 now. Final day of filming. And this is what we're doing. For me, this, for you. this is like the worst. I'm <laughs> cruel. <laughs> <laughs> we're improvising because we actually ran out of, of fake blood and now we have to go off a photo from Instagram. And doing a face paint. Yeah. <laughs> It's after midnight, so Abby is ready to sleep. Right, so. How excited are you that we're on the last scene? So fun. Woo! Ah! 
Yeah. <laughs> and that is a wrap. Woo! Woo!